attested eight different gun cleaners against each other for cleaning an AR-15. I did this because I was already doing a lubricant test and repeatedly shooting a standardized course of fire, and I needed to clean a gun each time, so I might as well uh, test out a few gun cleaners. Uh, that's pretty cheap on top of the ammo cost, so might as well. Uh, you can check out the lubricant test uh, and my cleaning video if you want to get a little bit more context about uh, what I was doing here. So all the solvents I tested, uh, they'll all be able to help you clean a gun thoroughly. Some just help by requiring less scrubbing and brushing, and some take a little bit more of that. Uh, they all degrease the gun and they remove the old lubrication that was uh, that's on there. Um, some of them just are able to do that in a way where you don't even have to scrub the gun at all, and they'll dry up on their own instantly, and some need to be manually dried, uh, because they're just not going to dry up for hours or whatever. So if you want to see the results or anything like that on a particular cleaner, just check the description. I got chapters in there. You can skip to the overall results or... Uh, just whatever cleaner you're interested in. I've only made a video of using the mineral spirits, and if you want a full demonstration of its effectiveness, you can check out my cleaning video in the description, but I'll include a few highlights just showing uh, how much cleaning it can do. So uh, we'll just start with mineral spirits as well. Mineral spirits was used as a baseline for comparison in in this test. So in my experience, it has been one of the most effective and it is a fairly safe solvent in terms of uh, health. So it's easily reusable. It can be found at pretty much any hardware store and it's very cheap. I find that it is able to do most of the cleaning for you with only slight amounts of scrubbing and brushing being required. And uh, if you're concerned about the safety, uh, get the odorless mineral spirits variety as it's a more refined uh, version and it has significantly less toxicity than what is possible uh, with non-odorless mineral spirits. There isn't much evidence for even the non-odorless type to be carcinogenic and it's not like you're going to be using this stuff every day. So OSHA classifies mineral spirits as a cautionary lower risk. And uh, just just use gloves and be in a vented area. You'll probably be fine. Rifle Bore Cleaner, or RBC, was surprisingly effective and better than mineral spirits at cleaning. It is a mil-spec cleaner for firearms, and the latest versions are now bio-based. I purchased mine from Blue Eagle, as they were the only sellers at the time, but it appears G96 also sells RBC as of the making of this video, and they are one of the qualified vendors for the military. Uh, it, RBC used to be a very poor cleaner in the older versions, and the older standard for it didn't even have any cleaning requirement, this, which is in contrast to something like CLP, which is a cleaner, lubricant, and protectant and it has a 45% cleaning requirement. So the old RBC was really only meant to ensure that corrosive salts from old primers would be flushed out and that the cleaner would provide some minimal amount of protection from rust. It now has a minimum average cleaning requirement of 95%, which means that it will basically clean everything for you. In my test, it left basically nothing behind that needed scrubbing or brushing. The All the carbon, just especially like on the, the bolt, it just kind of all melted off. The only place that had residue left was the bolt tail, where it is typically just baked on and layered on. Uh, even there, uh, the RBC did soften that carbon en enough for the blue nylon brush that I use in my cleaning video it was able to remove some of that carbon. So perhaps letting it soak longer than a, a minute or two would help to get rid more of uh, the carbon. But I was just performing a quick field test 
of this sort of stuff where you would be quickly cleaning it in the field and not letting it soak for more than a few minutes. And RBC's performance in this manner, with how I used it, it, it was equivalent to some of the strongest solvents available. So it, this is a pretty good result. It has a slight smell. It, it's not bad. It might be described in a way like how Hops 9 has a smell, but it is often considered not unpleasant by many people. RBC was slow to dry and needed manual drying, much like the water-based cleaners. Simple Green was not as good as Mineral Spirits and required more effort to get it to the same level of cleanliness. It is water-based and requires a decent amount of effort to dry. Uh, it's fairly available. It doesn't cost that much. It's very safe and overall nice to work with regarding health hazards. MPro 7 Cleaner was almost as good as RBC and about as good as Mineral Spirits. It is water-based and needs effort to dry like Symbol Green or RBC. D. Limonene was better than RBC and Mineral Spirits. It has a very strong citrus smell that I still found pleasant. It dries almost as easily as Mineral Spirits does. I'd say this is the best overall cleaner when considering health, effectiveness, and drying. It is extremely safe on its own in regards to health effects. In fact, some people take it in a pure pill form for digestive issues. The FDA categorized d limonene as generally recognized as safe when used as a food additive for synthetic flavoring. It occurs naturally in citrus, fruits, and so on, uh, which makes it probably the safest cleaner in this whole test. It is basically just a pure, highly refined orange oil, which makes it a bio-based product. As a comparison to mineral spirits, it was able to completely remove all the residue on the charging handle without scrubbing, whereas in my cleaning video, mineral spirits was only able to remove some of the residue without brushing. Trichloroethylene, often abbreviated as TCE, is a very strong solvent. It was easily the strongest cleaner in this test. It is so strong that it can attack and degrade nitrile, which is found in extractor inserts, as well as vitin, which is also often found in the extractor O-rings. I used a aerosolized spray of Sprayway C60 in this test. While holding my upper by the barrel, I cleaned the inside of the upper by spraying uh, from some distance, and so I didn't get any on my hands or anything. And the upper was essentially white glove clean in only a few seconds, and the solvent dried up only a second or two after the, the carbon had just dripped out. So it was a very fast, uh, very strong, very effective, very and very clean by the end. Uh, I sprayed some in my tub uh, and started cleaning my bolt carrier, which ended up going through the nitrile gloves I was using in about a minute or less. And it started giving my hands a burning sensation. So uh, this solvent has some documented health effects from chronic exposure. So be careful with this one. Baby wipes are, at this point, almost a military tradition of firearms cleaners. I have used them while I was in the Army, and countless others from other branches have as well. Baby wipes were convenient in that they are sold at the, the post exchange. Uh, they are the cleaner and rag all in one. And uh, you really only need three or four of them to get an AR-15 uh, clean as uh, I was doing in this test. They were almost as good as mineral spirits, but they have a hard time cleaning the small crevices where the, where the brushes have an easier time. And so you need to get a brush anyways, and it, it negates their advantage of, of being an all-in-one solution for that. So they work. They might leave behind a little bit of lint. I'd say if you could go with a, a solvent, I would I would use that over 
baby wipes. Breakthrough Cleaner is one of two authorized solvent tank cleaners in the military for firearms and is authorized as a rifle cleaner or degreaser on its own. It meets MIL PRF 680 Type 2. It was what replaced Mineral Spirits for that 680 Type 2 classification because Breakthrough is an environmentally friendlier product. It has a high enough flash point not to be considered hazmat for transport and storage. And uh, it is probably a little bit healthier to people. So I found it to be about as effective as Mineral Spirits with the only downside that it dries slower in a way like RBC or the water-based cleaners did. Overall, out of these eight cleaners, I'd consider using Mineral Spirits, RBC, or D-Limonene. Mineral Spirits offer great value, it dries out relatively quickly, and has good availability. RBC offers great cleaning power with a smell that's not very strong. D-Limonene has a combination of cleaning power that exceeds most other cleaners and a health safety that cannot be beat. Its only drawback is that its smell is strong and in some uh, maybe rare cases you might want to avoid having a strong smelling solvent. Uh, I honestly never expected D-Limonene to do so well in this test. Uh, I simply got it just to include a bio-based solvent that would be obviously safe to use. Uh, I'm glad I did though since it's actually really a great cleaner and uh, I plan to use it to clean my guns along with all other kinds of things in the household. So uh, since you're here, uh, here's a chart showing my subjective ranking of these solvents and a, along with a value called a caributanol value, often abbreviated as a KB value. It's used in an ASTM test for hydrocarbon-based solvents, where the higher the KB number means uh, that it's a stronger solvent, so you'll have a numerical value to compare solvents. That's it. Thanks for watching.